Huh? Where on earth am I? It's night time. Oh no. Oh no. I th I've gone through... Oh no. Hey, how is it going everybody? Welcome back to another Wheel Assassin video. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to build a Demigorgon from, of course, Stranger Things. Now, this is my Demigorgon design. If you laughed when you saw it, I can totally relate to that. I was building this and it took quite a while, to be honest, to get the, the sort of shape going. But I was laughing the entire way through building because it just wasn't resembling a Demigorgon. But uh, I hope this is uh, what you guys had pictured and, you know, hoped it would be like because... um. This was actually incredibly difficult to build. It um it is a simple design, like once you know how to do it, but um yeah. Like the planning, because it's such a I don't know, the scale of it I guess, it was the hardest part. Like if I show you over here I've got a plan for a bigger version and I had to figure out how to shrink this down to make it the size of not the Mi Minecraft character size, because that's that's like two blocks and that would just be way too small and not much detail on that, but to get it to the size we sort of need it to be so we can incorporate it into our builds. And uh, yeah, I came up with this one originally, but it was like way too large and it did look a little bit silly. So then I decided to shrink it down to make it just one block in the middle and then there's sort of four corners coming off from that. And I think this actually turned out really cool. I'm really, really pleased with this. I, I still do laugh when I pop on this world, but I do like it. I hope you guys will as well. I will be teaching you guys how to build it in a light grey concrete, which is made by this one. Um, I can also teach you guys how to build it in a light grey concrete powder. I'll show you how to do that a little bit later on. Um, and I will be showing you how to close up the mouth so that the head can look a little bit more passive uh, and he's not really going to attack people. Whereas this one, he's an angry demigorgon. He's shuffling about with his slippers on. You know, he's looking a bit sort of frail when he's trying to get some food. You know, he eats anything. He's a, he's a, not a picky demigorgon. <laughs> but yeah, let's just get the materials we need and begin. Okay guys, so to get it started on the demigorgon, we have just grabbed ourselves some light grey and some red concrete. Super, super easy. You might even be able to grab these in survival if you're playing on survival world. That'd be awesome. And you shouldn't take much fall damage if you do happen to be building his sort of head and then fall off. Um, so hopefully this build will not be one of those ones that are quite impossible to build in survival. So that's actually pretty cool. I might give it a go myself. That'd be pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, I built him in a forest because, of course, as you saw from the sort of pre-intro, um, we, you know, made the upside-down forest area that you kind of first see the Demigorgon in his natural habitat, I guess. So we've even inc incorporated the tree portal down here. Now, of course, this environment is... I'm not really going to be doing much of a tutorial on the environment because you can probably see what it is. It's literally just the same materials I used for my upside-down um, video I did recently. I'll drop a link to that in the description. So you can just grab those materials and make the same pattern on the floor. Uh, and then regarding the trees, it's literally just some dark oak wood and then some spruce leaves and vines. So yeah, not much going on with the uh, the background, but it's always cool to add a little bit more texture to the build, you know, a little bit more depth to the build by adding this whole weird looking background. But yeah, that is enough talking. Let's just get building. <laughs> so I'm going to pop over here to my sort of cloned forest. Very, very grateful to my brother Matty for helping me manage to, helping me clone my uh, upside down forest here because I wouldn't have been able to do the tutorial without that. So I really do appreciate it, bro. Take your light grey concrete and go one, two, just here on the floor, like so. Then we're going to go one, two blocks away, and then we're going to go forward onto this dead coral. In this case, you know, it's dead coral for me, but in the old case, probably just some grass. So let's go ahead and go one, two, up like so. Then we're actually going to go to here again, the left leg, and go ahead and put a block there. Now that's going to be a block we're going to remove, so don't keep that there. We're going to go one, two, out from that one block, and knock that one off now. Go ahead and put one just there. Then we're actually going to go ahead and build a J, basically, here. So we're going to go ahead and put two rows of three above the J like that. So only one is connected for both of those three like that, if that makes sense. Cool. Like I said, I've gone for the Demigorgon in a sort of shuffling pose. So it looks like he's got his slippers on. You know, he's kind of going to the teapot, for example, and, you know, trying to make a cup of tea. <laughs> That's literally every British person in winter right there, especially me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, no, I think it looks good if he's sort of looking like he's stalking his enemy or whatever. Then we're going to go for one, two, three. Oops. Up the middle 
of that one just there, up from the middle of the J. And then we go ahead and put two on either side like that, stacked up again. You can kind of see the vertebrae of a spine, which is pretty cool. That's what we're going for. Then we are going to go to here and place a light grey concrete. Then we're going to place a red concrete on either side, like so. Then you can remove the light grey concrete in the middle. Up from that, you can place a red concrete block. And then diagonal off to the sides of that middle one, you can place red concrete on both sides like that. Wicked. Let's go ahead and go to the right and left sides of our red concrete. And we're going to go one, two, three, up the side, on both sides. And then across the top. And then across the bottom, like so. Awesome. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to switch my pictures around again. So I can see what to do next. Here we go. Then we're going to go ahead and place a block there, block there, block there, block there, and then finish it off like that all the way around. Same design for the whole way around. And there we go. Demogorgon's head is completed. Like I said, it's very, very simple, but trying to get that to become smaller than, uh, you know, building the huge one I did over there was actually quite a challenge because, like I said, I wanted to make this sort of able to be incorporated into some of our other strange things builds, but a Minecraft character is only worth two blocks high. And a demigorgon is obviously taller than a than a normal human anyway, but um, for a Minecraft scale, you're gonna have to make him like 12 stories. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but it's cool. So on here, on the right side of the J, from the front, we're gonna go place a block, place a block to the right, and then remove that one to the left. Then we go ahead and bring this forward, another one, so it's kind of in line with this one. Then we drop down, and then we drop out, just for a block like that. Now that is his right arm. On the left side, we kind of do a similar thing, but we're going to do it one block back so it still looks like he's moving, you know, through the forest. So we're going to go ahead and place a block, block on the side, remove that block on the left, or in this case on the right, sorry. Then you go ahead and drop down, and then you drop out like that. Small arm, pretty much the same design though. And there we have it. Demigorgon is completed. Oh, it's so cool. Once it's in the forest, I think it looks really, really good. If you even build this alone, like without any sort of background, if we go to my bigger version, you can see it still looks pretty cool, just out in the open. Still looks like a Demigorgon kind of should, which is pretty cool. I hope you guys like this design, by the way. I'm so sorry I couldn't build it much smaller than this. I did try, but um, like I said, it's super, super hard for the scale of Minecraft stuff. But yeah, we can try our best to fit this in uh, Hawkins Lab. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, though. Oh my gosh, right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly grab some new materials and I'll teach you guys how to build the lighter version of this Demigorgon if you're interested in that. Alright, let's do it. Alright guys, so literally all you do to change up your Demigorgon to make him look a little bit lighter um, for his surroundings and things is you literally just need to grab some light grey concrete powder. Just literally the powder version of what we're using already. Now it is a little bit tricky, so if you do want to just leave him as the, you know, the light grey, then that is totally cool. But I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a barrier block. Now to do this, what you want to do is click slash. Then you want to get give right next to the slash. Then I'm going to click at S because that means myself. Then I'm going to go ahead and put barrier just here. I've already got it written down. That's pretty cool. And then you'll see there it comes up with like a little sort of closed sort of sign there. Uh, and that is what we want. You want to just click enter like that and it will just drop it in your inventory. Remember, it says one, you've been given one banner, uh, barrier, barrier, sorry. But remember, in creative, you can spam these as much as you wish. Bear in mind as well, that when you're holding the barra, ba barra? <laughs> barrier, you can see the barrier. But when you're not, it's invisible. So that is going to help us out with building our Demigorgon. Now then, all we need to do to make this guy with the, the concrete powder design is we're going to go ahead and replace the blocks that are overhanging uh, and underneath we're going to put a barrier block. So one there, one there, one there, one there, one down here, one, sorry, two just here. Oops. A little bit tricky to place, you kind of have to avoid the other barriers, but that is okay. Remember with things like this, you don't need to place like three underneath, they're just going to be one, so you can stack it on top. Over here we'll have to place a couple. Basically all the stuff that is hanging about, you need to just place them on because concrete powder works with gravity and gravity really sucks in Minecraft <laughs> so we need to make sure we get all this sorted like that okay and then I think oh almost almost missed that one 
So yeah, once you've kind of filled in the spaces with your barrier blocks, you can go ahead and then take your concrete powder. Remember, your barrier block will vanish whilst this is going on. And just want to replace them with concrete powder. Every single block... Oh, I missed one. Every single block of normal concrete, replace it with the powder. Right, this one will drop down, but it will stop there. That's perfect. And there we go. Awesome. So yeah, that's literally the lighter version of the Demi Gorgon. Um, I wasn't kind of, I wasn't really trying to go for a light version, but then I saw some like set pictures and stuff like that from Stranger Things, of course. And I rewatched the show, and I was like, oh, you know what? He's actually a little bit lighter than I'm making him. I'm making him way too like you know creepy looking with using like a very very prominent grey. So I was thinking, you know what? Let's just use some some lighter concrete and then see how it goes. And I think both of these designs are equally cool. Um, but yeah, it's up to you guys, your preference. And uh, yeah, just go ahead and add it in. Okay, so if you wanted to make the Demigorgon with his mouth shut, so he looks a little bit more passive and less aggressive, all you need to do is grab yourself some light grey concrete or some light grey concrete powder if you've built that one over there, as well as the barrier blocks again. You want to come to the bottom of his mouth and what we're going to do is we're going to trim off these blocks just here for two. Then we're going to come up here and trim these blocks off on either side for two, like that. Then we come to the red concrete and we build this out. We have to place a block there to make a T. So we're going to have to go ahead and add the two sort of bits that come off the side like that for the T. Then we go ahead and place a block just there. Then we come out for that on either side for like that. And we go up for two layers, like so. So it looks like a heart on his head, it's pretty cool. Then we go ahead and knock off that side one, knock off that side one, and now he's starting to look like a bunny and we need to change it up. So we go ahead and knock off the ears and then we add a block in there, like so. He's looking a little bit more square on the head, but that is awesome. That's how we want it to go because we wanted to make make sure he looks like, you know, he's uh, less aggressive. He's kind of like searching around, but he's not really looking for food. He's not immediately going to start eating something. So yeah, the, the back stays the same. You only trim sort of the mouth, uh, the actual sort of, I don't really know what I made there, but like the red concrete blocks, you just want to trim at least the bottom row off and then you can add this design in like so. But yeah, that is it. If you want to add in the commands for your surroundings, which are just these particle commands for adding sort of end table effects around, kind of looks like an ender chest type thing. You literally just need to place a repeating command block down. And if you remember from any of my other tutorials, to get the command block, you do the slash give again, at S, and this time you go for command block. Do do do. There we go, command, underscore, and then block just here. And then as it did with the barrier block, it adds it into your inventory, gives you allegedly one, but you can of course like make multiple of these. Then all you need to do is go ahead and go into it. Once you click it, it will come up with all of this like information. You click repeat and that will make it blue. You can actually get a repeat command block by just typing in slash give at s repeat command block. But um, it's easier just to do it command block, less typing. Then you go for unconditional, needs redstone, which means it will need a button or a lever or any redstone contraption to actually start it. Execute on first tick and then you leave the delays in ticks off. And then for the actual command itself, you click slash particle, minecraft, dot dot, end underscore chest, then your coordinates of that block. So the coordinates of the block you want it to, you know, use the particle command on. So yeah, and then it's done. And then you just go ahead and put a lever on it and flick the lever on to get the command going. And that is it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for watching this release on video. If you did enjoy this one, please be sure to drop a like, because see if we can edit it in the Demogorgon's mouth. <laughs> seems like the sort of thing he wants to eat just everything just even like buttons just drop it in his mouth thank you once again though guys it's been awesome teaching you again if you do want to stay tuned for some of my other stranger things builds as you can see in the background you probably already noticed i have a couple more structures to come very very soon really excited about both of those to be honest not going to say what they are just yet but you can probably tell by their designs um but yeah if you do want to consider subscribing for many more of those please do that that'd be amazing you guys take care, have an excellent rest of your day, stay tuned for more Stranger Things content, and I'll see you very, very soon. Goodbye for now, everybody. Thanks again.